Hello. Uh, this morning I'm going to try to supercool uh, some water and ex examine the cooling curve for water. And in doing this, I have a, uh, a probe, temperature probe, in a test tube with water in it. And the test tube is in another test tube. So there's a test tube with water in it in another test tube. And I'm going to dunk it into some um, a very cold saturated salt solution. Uh, when you put salt in water, it lowers the freezing point. So uh, the freezing point will be uh, way, way below zero. The salt will be about uh, zero degrees Fahrenheit, about 15 or so degrees negative Celsius. And uh, we'll use that as our cooling agent. So I'm going to dunk it into that and we'll examine the cooling curve. So uh, the next time you'll see the cooling curve for this uh, system. Thank you. Okay, uh, here's a speeded up version of the uh, cooling curve. And uh, we put the uh, water in the test tube in uh, a cold bath of uh, saturated sodium chloride that was cooled down to uh, about zero degrees Fahrenheit. And you can see it did super cool and then uh, rose up rapidly. And uh, now it's fairly constant. And um, there is a little drifting, but uh, that's probably because the, uh, the ice water mixture is not uh, thermally uh, equilibrated. And uh, uh, you'll see a little bit of uh, drift here. Uh, unfortunately, the ice bath, it takes so long for all the uh, ice to form from the water. The ice bath uh, is not cold enough that it, it, it eventually warms up <laughs> and uh, we can't freeze all of the water and eventually uh, the bath becomes uh, above uh, zero degrees Celsius and you'll see the temperature rise at the end because the um, um, the ice starts melting and eventually it all melts and then it rises uh, up in, in temperature. I don't know whether you'll see that uh, on here. I think you will. So uh, and that's a good example of a cooling curve. The, the water goes below zero. It uh, reaches um, a, a low point uh, and then suddenly starts freezing. So that's the super cooling water. As it freezes, that's an exothermic process. This the liquid becoming a solid uh, starts to uh, give it gives us heat and it causes the temperature to rise up to uh, uh, zero. And then we get uh, as the heat is pulled away from the solution, we get uh, uh, more and more freezing, but the temperature stays relatively constant. And then you'll see here at the end, it's rising at the end because the bath, the ice bath is, is too cold, is warming up rather, is above uh, zero degrees and everything is warming up. So thank you for your attention.